Hello and welcome back to 365 Days with MXM Tune. I'm Maya, a singer, songwriter, video maker, Oakland native, and fast food connoisseur. I'm also a big fan of history. I love untold stories, gross facts, hidden secrets, anything weird, dark, and funky from the past. So each day, I'm going to share a few of my favorite deep cuts with you. So let's take a look at today's stories. It's 365 with MXM Tune new facts every day so don't leave too soon i'm gonna teach you stuff no it won't be tough gonna go a year till you've had enough it's 365 which came first the chicken mcnugget or ebay what if you're thinking that question doesn't make any sense just you wait Today, in 2012, a three-year-old Chicken McNugget was sold on eBay. Yep, you heard that right. Someone sold, and then someone else bought it, a three-year-old Chicken McNugget from McDonald's on the e-commerce site eBay. If that isn't already strange enough, the Chicken McNugget sold for $8,100. Of course, this wasn't just any ordinary piece of chicken, or else why would somebody buy it for $8,000? Supposedly, it looked like former President George Washington, or so the seller said. Let's reverse, take a closer look, and see how this whole set of shenanigans went down. The person who discovered this presidential McNugget was named Rebecca Spite, and she was a woman from Dakota City, Nebraska. She explained to the Associated Press that once upon a time, she took her children to McDonald's, and they left their order of McNuggets uneaten. She was about to throw the last remnants of the food away, but then she noticed something peculiar. When interviewed by the Sioux City Journal, a local paper in Iowa, Spite said, I looked down at the McNugget and just started laughing. I saw this portrait of George Washington staring back at me. She then stored the noteworthy chicken in the freezer. It sat there for a while, a little mini George Washington chicken nugget in the freezer, and eventually she decided to auction it off. Not for herself, but to raise money to help 50 local children attend summer camp. Okay, though the story sounds pretty weird to start off with, I've got to admit that helping 50 local kids to go to a summer camp is a pretty legit reason to sell a weird portrait-shaped chicken nugget on eBay. Normally, you can't do this sort of thing on eBay. The online auction site understandably has rules against selling expired food and had briefly taken down the McNuggets listing for quite clearly going against this rule. McNuggets definitely expire long before three years in the freezer. George Washington or no George Washington, it's a three-year-old piece of processed meat after all. However, upon learning that Spite was raising money for a worthy cause, they decided to make an exception. I support that decision. As long as everyone involved knows what they're purchasing. It's always a good idea to band together and support a worthy cause. So thanks, eBay. Ultimately, after 71 bids, 23 bidders, and almost 45,000 views, the George Washington McNugget sold for a whopping $8,100. That's far more than anything you'd find on the dollar menu. More like 8,000 items on the dollar menu. My favorite item from McDonald's is a sausage egg McMuffin, and I could probably eat more than enough of those with that amount of money. This isn't the first time an everyday object gained almost supernatural importance because it appeared to look like something else. BuzzFeed has even compiled a list of 22 instances people insisted they saw the image of Jesus in their food, from a banana to a breakfast taco. I haven't had a strange appearance of religious figure or celebrity come up in my food intake lately, but I'll make sure to let you know if I do. And now for today's music fact, we have a special guest here to talk about this day in their career. Andre Azizov, take it away. Hey, this is Andre Azizov, and three years ago today, on March 6th, 2018, I released my debut single. Um, and up to that point, I was just releasing bootleg remixes on SoundCloud out of my dorm room, pretty much making it for my friends. Um, but I'd finally put together an original track and really didn't have any idea what to expect. But thankfully, a lot of things came together. Uh, I found a manager and a team that believed in the music, a great um, feature artist, and I released it my senior year, so I was literally in class while the track was going crazy and hitting like the Spotify viral 50 charts, which was a surreal moment. Um, And it was great because I was going through a lot at that point in my life, uh, but it really gave me a lot of hope and belief in my music and just in general. And now for our final segment in today's show, I am going to be looking into my own photo archives and see what I was doing on a March 6th in my life. 
on March 6, 2020, I got my hair fixed. I accidentally dyed it with Overtone, which is a hair brand that works for two people who want to tint their hair. Um, however, I used like the wrong one and I desperately went to my hairdresser that I was going to with literally I had red hair at that point um, because the dye had faded and like stained my I guess my hair in a way that was just really horrible, but I got it toned and then I had blonde hair that was like kind of greenish looking because of the way that they had to tone it from the red for a while. And that's the hair that I had during the dawn and dusk photo shoot area um, of my life. Now my hair is dark brown. It's very different than um, what people I think got used to. I had blonde hair or like purple hair for a very long time. And now my hair is back to being its natural color. I did get there with dye, but it's fine. It's fine. I won't be going to my hairdresser to hear how disappointed she is that I dyed it. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. If you don't mind, subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and follow at 365 Days MXM Tune on your preferred social media platforms. It's 365 with MXM Tune. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna teach you stuff. No, it won't be tough. Gonna go a year till you.